So uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for thank you for joining our meeting today. So, uh, so it's not a very deputy electricity meeting. It's over. So we are doing new ones. So today uh, it is about endemic birds, and it is it is being done by our division manager Savit Archana. So I'm going to hand him over, hand him over. So yeah, you can do it. Presentation. Thank you for the introduction, Manmar. Uh, hello and good evening, everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So today we have an interesting lesson, which is endemic birds of Sri Lanka. Now, uh, do you know how many bird species are there in the world? So does anybody know that? OK, there are 11, more than 11,000 bird species around the world. So Sri Lanka has recorded 436 species of birds. They can be separated into two types. Resident birds, which means that birds that live in this country throughout and uh, mig migrant birds, which means birds that come here for a specific period and go back to where they came from after a few months. So of the birds that are resident here, some are endemic. Endemic to Sri Lanka means that these species are found only in Sri Lanka and nowhere else in the world. A species can be endemic to a particular region, area or country. If an endemic species dies out, they cannot be replaced from anywhere. So there are 34 endemic birds to Sri Lanka. Now let's discuss them one by one. The first one is Ceylon purple. So its male body, body is a tangled with white edge with black, large tear drop shaped pink on wings. A red facial patch duller in female, which is dull brown overall, always seen in paint, does not form flocks, and it appears to need a dense shaded or riverine forest. And uh, it is found wherever there are decent sighted patches of wet zone uh, forest from lowlands to highlands in dry one found along the Rhine forest. Uh, its sequence broke by infer of differently pitched notes and voice complex uh, right from unmistakable. The next uh, one is Ceylon jungle fowl. So it's female brown with a bad wing, yellow patch in middle of form distinguished male from domestic coverage. Neck and uh, mantle golden and its uh, habitat is happening to survive only where feasible tracks to a protected area female. This could be an effect of hunting, and the birds are very shy outside national parks. And it is a widespread up to mountains where the large tracts of forest survive. Dry stone, stone seems to be the stronghold, and its uh, voice holds uh, uh, tremendous sort uh, of uh, with an uh, infantile sounding uh, integration. The next bird is Ceylon wood pigeon. This is a bluish gray uh, body with a black and white pattern on purplish sheen neck and distinctly larger than a feral pigeon. Its habitat is a large forested stretches in highland and it seasonally uh, movements to lower hills, descending as low as Singhara. Its uh, distribution is Horton, Horton Plains National Park and the Botanical Gardens in Hagdala are two of the most uh, reliable sites of Hoi and main walking style of King Raja from uh, Kadu side is seasonally good. When birds are present there, uh, tolerant of observers. Its uh, voice is uh, uh, somewhat uh, deep, uh, throaty, with an uh, owl like quality. Uh, next one is Ceylon Green Pigeon. Its male has a conspicuous purple mantle with female lines. Female similar to an orange crested green pigeon, and they're most easily told apart by greenish rather than gray neck. Under tail, covers also uh, help to distinguish females. Yellow in the cinnamon and cinnamon red on inner web of, of uh, orange breasted. Its habitat is uh, similar to orange breasted, but less common. It's, uh, it is all throughout Sri Lanka. So, yeah. Next 
the bird is Ceylon hanging parrot. It is a small green bird about the size of a house sparrow. Adults have a red uh, crown and rump, male more brightly colored than female, which only has trains of male's uh, blue coat. Juveniles have green heads without red crown. In courtship, red drum feather are raised. It lives in frequently lives in a uh, tall forest, found of uh, imbibing uh, sap of pickle trees and uh, cariota urine. Its uh, distribution is, is common in wet zones and occurs locally in riverine uh, forests in dry zones and uh, certainly dry zone areas such as uh, gall lawyer. Uh, so the next bird, Lyas Parak. It's a uh, so its female has a dark blue and male will red tip with yellow, also called emerald colored parakeet. Although emerald color, not always clear in the field. Habitat mainly are forested areas in dry lowlands and its uh, best zones up to mid uh, living. And uh, flocks also found in Nilgala area. The next one is uh, green belt copper. It looks very similar to southern hawk, green rather than black bill diagnostic, and wings duller and not the brighter chestnut as in southern uh, black on body closer. Its habitat is uh, restricted to good quality rainforests of a large extent. Its survival in the relativity in the Bodhiangala rainforest is an anomaly. May be lost uh, from this reserve within the next few decades of urbanization continue. It is restricted to a few lowland rainforests such as Singharaja, Morapiti, and Chitugala. A few also live in small pockets such as Bodhiangal. Its uh, call is like a woo woo for, uh, could be even transcripted as uh, woo woo. Uh, it's softer sounding than that uh, common southern. Uh, and probably one of the Sri Lanka's most endangered species. Now, uh, you have heard about this bird. We all have heard about this bird. This, uh, uh, this uh, green bill cockle has uh, a green bill, not the southern cockle has uh, a black bill, uh, which is uh, Atipula, we call Atipula, it's the uh, southern cockle. Now, this is green bill cockle. Okay, the next bird is red face the Malkuta. It may have brown right and females are pale. It, uh, it lives in the tall rainforest. In the 18th century, it was recorded by Captain Leg in a court day on the outskirts of Colombo, which indicates how rapid deforestation was in the 19th century. Mainly insecure, but the opportunity feeds on ripe berries and confined to a few remaining tall forests in lowland rainforest. Singharaja, Morakitiya and Chitugala are reliable for sighting. Its uh, voice is generally silent but occasionally utters a guttural uh, rattling call, almost a crow, and uh, it is also classified as a vulnerable on IUTN red The next bird is Serendip Out. It's overall reddish hue and the soft, single knot called help make confusion. This other birds, unlike female, have orangish uh, eyes. Female are yellowish in part. It's believed to maintain the territory year around, and the habitat is the distributed forest heads, often near the ground, and appears to be uh, insectivorous. And it is restricted to a few lowlands. Rainforest such as Singharaju, Mora Kutia, and Kitugala. Its uh, coal is a soft uh, hue and uh, it, it has been first seen in 2001, described to science only in 2004 by Deepal Varkagoda. Uh, he's the person who discovered it and the uh, Pamela Rasmussen. First endemic bird to be described from Sri Lanka after 132 years. It is amazing that an endemic bird, a Sri Lankan bird, eluded being known for so long with scientific name honors, Silo 
who is credited with uh, leading the campaign to stop all the destruction of the Singharaja forest. The next bird, chestnut back owl. Its face and uh, underpass similar to jungle owl. But chestnut appear upper parts easily separated the two species. Well, it is a uh, its habitat is well wooded area, although it is not uh, shy and may roost near human habitation, where it draws good quality for and it is uh, confined to wet zones, probably more common than it is believed to be. Interestingly, jungle and uh, chestnut back owlers seem to carve out different areas in Sri Lanka. It is, uh, its voice is higher pitched than jungle, more like a throaty, uh, tremulous uh, croak croak, and it's also a repeated single noted uh, one, uh, which is alternating uh, pitch from one note. It's uh, classified as, it's, this bird is also classified as uh, vulnerable on ice, UC and red list. The next one is Pilon Redback Woodpecker. The black drum flame bat was treated as having four subspecies on the Asian mainland and two subspecies in Sri Lanka. Personally, one of the races in Sri Lanka, the race, the throats, had, had the red bat. Since 2014, the southern race, Sparrow, has been recognized as a different species. The Ceylon red-backed woodpecker, the golden back, red Japan, is now the sole Sri Lankan subspecies of the black rum. Female crown black at front, red in there, and its habitat it lives in a garden and well wooded areas in lowlands and hills. It is a widespread throughout Sri Lanka, covering areas where black rum flame that is absent. Both species can overlap uh, in range and hy hybridized forms of them. And uh, its voice is kind of like a short, uh, sharp, uh, whining scream. The next uh, is greater flame black. Female crown black with white flesh, more common, still on red black woodpecker. It's similar, but this species has an ivory colored bill. It also has a more complex facial pattern with a white iron frame by two thin black mustachial stripes. Its habitat is uh, it lives in well wooded uh, gardens and uh, forests in lowlands and high hills. It displays a silon red back in heavily forested patches. It is absent from arid zones in northwest, north and south. Otherwise found in forest areas up to highest mountain. Prefer forest stand is absent from urban habitats in which Ceylon redback is prevalent. Its uh, voice is a coli call repeated whining tree 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 tree. Uh, does not have a total ringing instance of the Ceylon redback urgent sounding call. The next the next bird, Ceylon blue magpie. It's an unmistakable bird with chocolate brown on head and wings and red tail, eyeing and legs set against blue plumage, tail graduated with white edges and white tip. Birds uh, show cooperative nesting behaviors with younger birds helping adults and nest has become habituated in Singharaja since, since the 1980s and many people can now enjoy close views of it. It, it is a restricted to wet zones, forests of a fairly significant size. And wet zones, its distribution is wet zones from lowlands to highlands. Its uh, voice is a wide uh, repertory of course, most of which are harsh and branch, and some that have a uh, metallic uh, intonation. And this bird is also classified as a vulnerable on IUT and red wing. The next, let's move on to the next bird, the spot wing thrush. It, is, uh, it has white spots on wings and easy to make out. Uh, face mask strongly with black and white. Its habitat is densely shaded forest. And these forages of uh, invertebrates on forest floor. 
it lives in wet zones, lowlands to mid hills, and emerges to feed on trails at dawn and dark. Its voice is one of Sri Lanka's five species of birds, two songbirds, indoors with a double lung. Its wide uh, repertoire of call, notes, and rich melodious song. Uh, so these are the reference of the lesson. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's all for today's lesson. Uh, but I haven't uh, mentioned all the uh, endemic birds of Sri Lanka. I'm going to say the names of them. Uh, here we have Ceylon Follow, uh, Ceylon Woodstriker, Black Cape Bulbul, Yellow Eared Bulbul, Spokwing uh, uh, Thrush, Ceylon Scaly Thrush, uh, Ceylon Whistling Thrush, uh, Ashy Headed uh, Laughing Thrush, uh, Brown Cape Babbler, Ceylon Scimitar Babbler, Ceylon Rufus Babbler, Sri Lanka Bush, uh, like these uh, Slow Picker. Uh, Ceylon Hill White Eye, Dusky Blue Flycatcher, White Fed Starling, Ceylon Hill Miner, uh, Ceylon Crested Drongo. So these all are the uh, 34 endemic birds to Sri Lanka. And yeah, uh, that's all for today's lesson. Uh, so thank you everybody for joining today's lesson. And thank you very much Amaha, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post this into the chat book, uh, chat book, and I will answer them. Thank you. Does anyone have any question? Yes, if you have questions, please direct them to the chat box, please. So it looks like that there's no more questions for you to ask. So I guess that is, that's it for today. So uh, next week we won't have our meeting because it's a poet day. Uh, 
so we will have our meeting uh, the week after that so until then uh, goodbye everyone